Hi everyone. Uh, this topic I'll talk about Delta DI Link MQTT function. System architecture we use the DI Link connect to DVP PLC as example. Then uh, in this uh, architecture, DI Link will work as a broker or a server and then client will use the MQTT.fx uh, software. Then we'll come to the uh, client setting. So basically here we will set the local uh, broker IP address and with the port number uh, 1883 okay and then here we need to set the uh, username and password so username and password for DI link is a uh, user and the DIAL uh, user and next step is uh, how to check the GUID and device ID from DI link so this is the format that we use uh, in uh, MQTT so first would be the V1 uh, slash uh, clients then or GUID text and then uh, followed by the device ID so here you can see this one is the so-called uh, GUID so GUID we can actually check from here and later I will show you then for the device ID uh, is actually indicated from the DI link ID okay now I'll switch to uh, here so you can see uh, how to check uh, GUID basically we just uh, click here then you will see this one uh, so this uh, string is actually the uh, GUID and you may wonder how to uh, check this one so basically uh, we can go to the question mark then we can click the user manual and then you can just uh, search MQTT so basically you can find uh, some more detail over here okay and then uh, I will switch to the MQTT.fx okay so here we can uh, click this uh, setting and then uh, this is uh, as I mentioned we keep for the default then uh, 1883 then for the user uh, okay then here we click the generate and then we can uh, this one is actually not necessary but uh, uh, if we don't click this one is actually you cannot uh, click OK or apply so we just uh, click OK and then we can uh, click connect and after that uh, we will subscribe so here is the format and if you forgot you can go back to the menu and check Okay, so we can check the MQTT. So here you will find the format uh, V1, uh, then client. Okay, so we switch back, then here we will put down the GUID. And then this one we put the uh, ID of uh, this uh, device. So we switch back, so you can see now the ID number is 2 okay so here we will use two then uh, click uh, subscribe uh, for uh, delta di link uh, and qtt uh, uh, you will only get the message uh, once uh, when the value change so we now will go back to here and then modify the value okay so example now is zero so we write uh, one and we can go back and check so you can see the result is one Okay, change from uh, 0 to 1 and again we can write the value to 2 okay and then uh, we can write the uh, 3 and 0 okay so we can go back and check the result so you will see now is a uh, 0 and actually you can find the different re result okay 3 0 okay and you may wonder what else I need to set up in the DI link so basically uh, no need extra setting so you can see the broker IP is actually uh, this here so we just use uh, this uh, default uh, broker IP and then if you try to connect with the third party uh, MQTT so basically you need to uh, enter the broker IP address over here then also the username and password and if you want to know more detail about uh, MQTT you can actually go to the user manual chapter 4 uh, to refer the more uh, detailed information okay. 
So that's all for uh, today's uh, topic. Thank you.